on film. <laughs> Was that not right? I don't know why I'm laughing. No, we'll keep that in. Hey, what a great intro. So welcome back to another channel. I'm Emmy Way Mommy and this is my mom, Anna. Hi, Glam fam. <laughs> So after our haul video, a lot of you guys requested to see my mom again. It was actually mom's idea to do this video. I am going to do her makeup with, oh, I'm sitting on it. I'm gonna do her makeup with everything that I got her from Ulta, which uh, minus the highlight the li and the lipstick, those, those are mine because mom said she only wanted to use Jeffrey's highlight and lipstick. So we're going with that. So yes, I've been waiting for her to do my makeup and now is the day. Did a face mask last night, but After we came to the I could not use my pore reduction one because someone had used mine thinking it was hers, but that's all right. I didn't so read I, the labels properly. So I used a different one. <laughs> I've already washed my face and I put moisturizer on. When do I do the lip plumper? So, got it. This is her lip plumper. It is by Buxom. Oh yeah, you have my mirror. The reason why I like to use lip plumpers is just because one, I can't afford lip fillers, and two, I like the way it makes my lips look. Now, can I talk? Is it tingles? Yeah, that's fine. You can oh, rub okay. your lips and everything. Like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, you mean like you did earlier when you put it on and you forgot you put it on? And she picked up my poor 20-pound kitty cat, Aphrodite, and gave her a kiss on the mouth. Poor <laughs> Aphrodite had tingle lips. She came running to me. I'm like, baby, what's wrong? She goes, meow, meow. And I, then she went, I plumped yes. the cat. <laughs> I plumped the cat. So yes, people, we, I am very sorry. I will make a disclaimer now. I am so sorry that there was cruelty to an animal mentioned in this video. Because I, I love my five-year-old kitty cat. I plumped the cat. I didn't mean to. So. That don't sound right. <laughs> Walton's a plump on our turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> if any of you guys are watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start by priming mom's face with the same face primer I use, which is the e.l.f. Portless Putty Primer. And I'm gonna use mom's, uh, I got her a brush set, which was also e.l.f., and this is just the small stipple brush, but it looks like a good enough brush to use for her primer since I didn't get her like the extensive brush set that I got, but in all fairness, oh. I did win the brush set that I got. Yeah, these were still a In all fairness, I did win the set that I got, so. Yes, you did. So do you just completely put it on and rub it in as you do it? Yeah. You don't. Your thingy where you Cat did hair. the lines. <laughs> yeah, don't blame the brush. Your thingy where you did the lines, that is concealer, correct? Yeah, that's concealer. Oh, okay. Is this the thing that covers my pores? Yes, yeah, so this is the poreless putty primer, so it helps cover and, like, not conceal the pores, but it helps cover and fill them in. So why you put it on the eye? To help out as an eye primer as well, so you have well, double... I have an eye primer. I know you have an eye primer, you're not letting me finish. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, double primer ain't gonna hurt no one. Okay. One thing I did learn years and years ago, I don't know a lot about makeup, guys, never did. I pretty weird doing my makeup you know I used to like the cream stuff that dried like powder threw on a blush you know that stuff was pretty good though like I must admit when mom first I let think it, it was a, I don't I don't remember it was, was a Maybelline it's the Maybelline uh, cream to powder foundation yeah. and I still swear by it to this day I don't have it but you know that does bring me to the next conclusion. I did make mom get the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Mom's shade is 118 Light Beige. Hopefully, if I did that right in the store, I mean, if it's too dark, we just add a little of your lighter one. Oh, I'm pale. So, I would do that first, and then for eyeshadow, I do a light color, a dark color in the middle, and a lighter color down there. Some pencil and mascara, and called it a day. Didn't know what a wing was. But my mom's hot either way, so I mean, fight us. So this should just pour right on the... Yeah, because it doesn't have a... Um, pump. Yeah, it doesn't like have a pump, oh, so I just pour it right onto here. Uh, I mean, it could pour it onto your face, like pour some no. sugar on me, but I don't think it worked very well. It's nice on you. <laughs> 
cold sponge feels good. Yeah, so a cold beauty blender, I use, I dampen oh, my yes, beauty blenders. Beauty blender. Yeah, I dampen my beauty blenders in cold water because it helps reduce puffiness of the face. What do you think about that foundation? How's it feel on your face? Feels good. I don't, it don't feel all heavy or cakey or anything. So I actually used to use this concealer before Jeffree Star came out with his concealers. So I use his now, but this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It helps with dark circles and wrinkles and stuff. and. I'm a mom of a two and a half year old. I get circles and wrinkles, okay? Don't at me. Wrinkles, okay. It's going. That's weird. And then I'm gonna put your concealer in the same spots that I put mine. I always choose a concealer that's about a shade or two lighter than my foundation because the point of concealer is to conceal those areas and to help brighten them where natural sunlight hits the most. Blend that out with a beauty blender as well. I don't know. I, I mean, for me personally, I don't put concealer down my neck because if natural sunlight hits it, you can see my double chin more. Oh, okay. Kind of like that. I don't like that. I use this as well, but of course I had to get mom her own. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed 100 Translucent Setting Powder. And you're going to set everything you just did with the foundation and concealer and down to your neck as well. At least I opened that and got rid of the little round foamy thing. Gave it to Nirvana. Nirvana is my daughter. She tore it up in less than 30 minutes. Sounds about right. And what's the difference between this and a loose I prefer, setting powder? I prefer to use the pressed setting powder when I am setting my face and the loose setting powder when I am baking my face. Okay. And what is baking? Baking your face is when you apply a generous amount of loose powder in the same areas that you apply the concealer and it sets in with the heat of your face to really brighten it and luminous. Baking your face and baking a cake are two different things. Well, you want them both to turn out nice. It's like dust in the pan with flour. Good, even though I don't have my glasses on, I can see. I can see clearly now. Oh, Mom, also, if, in case you guys didn't watch the Ulta haul, we also made her her own palette, which is the Buxom eyeshadows. And those are green, by the way, not blue. They keep pulling blue on my camera for whatever reason, but you get the point. So if she- I picked my own colors. She did. Oh. Which one Every is time. I have two of those. You don't need them. Why? Not right now because I'm not doing your eyebrows. Well, I know, but you don't need to put them on the floor either. All right, so before I do that, I'm going to prime her eyelids before I forget to do that. I got Mom the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I really hope you guys can see these as I do them. I just film on my phone camera right now, so I don't have like a viewfinder or anything. So until, you know... A girl gets rich, rich. You guys are just gonna be living in this quality for a minute. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna set all of that with that first shade I showed you guys, the Cashmere Craving, which is like literally the lightest one in here, like the cat. Oh, she's pigmented. I hope so. You picked out this brand. I picked out the colors. 
If you want to look in the mirror, you can see it's like a really simple base color. Yeah. But it sets the primer down nicely. And I always believe in starting off with the base color just because I think it helps blend the colors better and makes them pop out more, especially if you start with a white base color. And a good white base color to start off with is any of the whites that you see in Jeffree Star's palettes. Don't make faces. Hey, Mrs. Aquaman. Looks good on her. Next I'm going to go on with that invite only shade which was like the deeper brown and I'm going to use that as the transition color into the crease. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same brush and then deepen the crease with the really light green color room service. And then after we do that, we're gonna go in with the dark one and deepen the outer V into the crease, so almost like a half cut crease. Okay. And to go in with that darker green shade, we're actually going to use the more smaller flat one, which I think helps get into like the crevices of the eye more if you have more wrinkles than others. Oh, great. <laughs> there is no other way to say that. <laughs> Just want you guys to see how pigmented this is. Wow. And then you're going to take that smaller fluffy brush with that light color, again, the cashmere craving color, and you're going to blend the edges around that so you don't have like harsh raccoon lines. And that same fluffy brush that I, you're not supposed to be looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't look no more. Huh. The same fluffy brush that I had the setting powder on, I'm going to wipe the fallout from underneath her eye. It's not a crazy amount of fallout either, so I wouldn't worry too much. I won't. And then we're gonna take a flat packing brush with that shade gold status, and we're gonna pack it into like the inner half corner where we did not put the green color. So because it's more of like a sheer color, I'm gonna actually take my finger that doesn't have a nail on it because my kid broke it and press it with my finger. And we're gonna take a smaller brush and blend that invite only, which is like a little bit of a darker brown color and we're gonna lightly blend it under the lower lash line.
that glitz factor color right here that I wasn't originally gonna use, I'm gonna go ahead and use it as an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight. So that is the eyeballs eyeshadow. What? As in like look at your eyeballs and see if you like the eyeshadow. Oh, I can look now? Yes, because we haven't done the mascara or anything yet. So oh, it's like wow. really light, really simple, but still pretty and elegant. Yeah, because I'm not real bright and crazy yet. So like <laughs> me. <laughs> Maybe that was from back in the day, long time ago, once upon a time, almost 30 years ago, so. I was doing some eyeshadow on myself. And let's just say it wasn't a real good day, but I sat up in the sink in my three-way mirror with the lights, and I was not happy till I had all 50 shades on my eyes at one time. I was going out, going to work. My girlfriend says, are you serious? I'm like, yep. And she let me go out like that. And wow, it was bad. I'm glad I don't have pictures of it to this day. Because otherwise I'd be popping them up all up over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Zero. And this is a really good pencil for waterline and for waterproof so it doesn't leak or run. And you're going to do very tight thin layer on upper and lower waterline. You don't want it super thick because then it takes away from the colors, especially if you have smaller eyes. And we're gonna do a small coat of mascara and I got mom the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And I'm not gonna do falsies just because again, with like the smaller eyes and with the crevices, it can take away from everything and be too large. And it's too much on my eyes and I wear yeah, glasses. That, so. that too. I'm not into falsies. Fun tip, do not pump your wand. You spin it because if you pump it, it gets air into it and dries the mascara out faster. Oh wow, I used to always pump it. I never knew. <clears throat> Goes to show, you're never too old to learn. And now she's gonna look in the mirror and tell me what she thinks. Cool, so this mascara it don't give you like little raccoon eyes or those little black dots, right? Oh god, that used to be my problem. You get little black dots, raccoon eyes, it wasn't good. So we didn't get mom any blush, so I'm actually gonna use one of mine. Oh yeah, we did. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna oh, use okay. this really like light yeah. pink one right here on my La Femme blushes. Also not contouring or bronzing your face just because it would be too much. Okay. For a simple look, it's too much. And then for you, I feel like it'd be too much just because you have such small cheekbones anyways. It would just, I don't think it would look you good. You got though. lucky with the Indian high cheekbones on your dad's side. But I am adding a little bit more color to the places where I would do that. Just so you do have a little bit of that color. Okay. Now I am going to douse her face with some setting spray and then she's going to fan herself yes, because we're bougie. I have a fan. Summertime here folks, in the 90s. It is hot. But we're inside, so it's so good. How long do I fan? Just Until you feel like good. it's dry enough? Oh, I don't know. It just feels good. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I'm going to put on a little bit. This was mom's choice, by the way, guys. The <laughs> Candy eyes. Apple a Drip Green Highlight on the cheekbones, tip of the nose, bridge, cupid's bow. You almost chin. stabbed me with the brush. <laughs> oh, my bad. But not a lot. This is very pigmented stuff, okay, guys? This is the Supreme Frost we're talking here. See, I don't understand the difference between all those Supremes. The, the Supreme liquid. Frost is more of a baked formula and acts. it looks almost wet and has lots of glue specs into it. And then what about your liquid ones? The liquid. 
because his makeup's so versatile, that could be used on the eyes as well, correct? Yes. I like it, and then just put a lighter one over it. Okay. You heard it here first, folks. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put Diamond Wet over it. Okay, that looks pretty. So I'm going to do all of the green first, and I'm going to put Diamond Wet over it. So is this color typically one you would maybe wear out if you're going out? Yeah, I would typically wear it out or I would keep it to like an eyeshadow type only. Oh, I like it. Oh, the Cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. I have no hair down there, do I? Nope. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, all right, I do have something to tell you guys. Here's my little razor here. Okay. This, we're not sponsored with this. We're, you I'm just given my own opinion. We have now, chewy, <laughs> yuck. Been using these razors, how do I do this? Like this? These razors from the Dollar Shave Club. This is the Six Blade Executive. We all three use these in this house. We have been for years. It's awesome on the legs. Not what? sponsored. I already said that it's not sponsored. Oh, my bad. Anything, I think. Yeah, something of that nature. But I do have a code I'll link below where you can get some money off. What? Yes, I have a code. What? But anyway. Making money moves. But anyway, so Daughter Dearest just didn't let me know a couple days ago that on these razors, they have a single edge blade on top. Now, how do I do this? Same thing you were doing. Uh, too close, too close. Okay. <laughs> All right, the single edge. So, in your face. That works for me now to shave off my mustache and my chin whiskers. The hubby don't know I'm doing it, but he will have to see this video if we lose this. But I love it. It worked great. So now I have a smooth Cupid's bow. And then while I picked out the lipstick she wanted to wear, she chose Thirst Trap by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I already lip scrubbed them with my yeah. lemon sucker. I love lemon. So daughter gave me that. And then we did the lip. lip. The lip plumper. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. You're gonna get me in trouble. And we're gonna do one last down the roof setting spray. It's been a long, long time since I've worn a full face of makeup. But it don't feel heavy or anything, so that's a good thing. Okay, so when you're done with that, let me know what you think, and then I'll zoom in on it for All them right, to see. Well, I'm not putting my glasses on yet, okay? Since okay. I do have to wear glasses, I may go back to contacts now. I like that. So how much of the diamond ice did you put on top of the green diamond apple? Wet. Silver fox going on. <laughs> Silver fox with the green highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking pictures of this. I think I would get a good thumbnail. How did I do? <laughs> More importantly, how did I do? Let me look. I like it. Switch. Hmm. I like that lipstick. Yeah, I like the color on you. I like it. 
All right. So the green turned out better than you thought? Yeah, it's just a little a little green for me on the face, if I don't say so myself. Well, it's all right. It matches my eyes today. And that's the whole thing about it. Not for you, but it is for me. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below how you guys think I did. <laughs> and uh, give me ideas for another video. And remember to stay strong, stay beautiful, and love yourself always. Bye, Land Fam. Your paw shot kick their asses. Arthritis make me good. My mama always, always got on me about sitting up, sitting up straight. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I feel like I need to keep this so I can put it in like a bloopers reel. <laughs> <laughs> mama always told me life's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Oh yeah, like that.